talk a little bit about uh, wh what has cosplay kind of turned into over the last few years. I, it, it always had a bit of a, a negative connotation in some ways, but that's changed a lot in the last four or five years, hasn't it? Uh, I'd say cosplay has formed into something that uh, encompasses all types of people. Um, and is accepting of all all people, either if it be uh, skin tones, age, gender, sexual orientation, all body types. Um, it's just part of a large geek community that's accepting of everybody. Um, and I would say also that you know cosplays opened up to uh, accepting other people that are curious about comic cons, but it, you know I've never been. They go to a show, they see cosplay for the first time, they're like, you know what, that's kind of cool, let me try that out. And I, I just, I really like the idea of just people being more accepting of it, being more welcoming of it in general. Now I know one of the things uh, that you talk about at the cons is a positive body image, which I, I think is, is a great idea for, for uh, people coming to cons. Because uh, you, know, you, you said at first uh, when you started this, you, you struggled with it a little bit. Yes. Yes, uh, it, it was definitely something that I, I dealt, I, I still deal with, uh, and have dealt with for the majority of my life. Um, but cosplay has helped me a lot in terms of accepting myself for who I am, how I am, and realizing that you know what, I should be comfortable in the skin that I'm in, you know, and I shouldn't base my opinion on my perception of what others think of me. Uh, you know, so I do panels at different conventions based on body confidence and just being positive in the community and accepting others for who and what they are versus judging their outward appearance. Has that made a difference to, to people if they come and said to you, you know, because of you I've, I've got into this and had a lot of fun? I, I, I've had some really, really nice experiences like that. Yeah, I, I've been blessed enough to to have those really awesome interactions with people. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's... I, I would have never thought I'd be doing this. <laughs> um, you know, for me, I, I I'm terrified of public speaking, but this because I I, I'm, I feel very passionate about the subject that it, it just comes very naturally to me. Um, it's one of those things that I just I speak from the heart. So it's just it, it's nice to be able to help others. Um, feel good about themselves and accept themselves. You know, when I first started cosplaying, there was no one in the community that stood up for those things. And that's why I felt, you know what, if I talk about this, then maybe I can help somebody out there because I didn't have that help when I first started. Um, so it's just my way of trying, just trying to give back to the community is always saying thank you. You know, if you feel this way, you know what, there's many of us that have felt this way too. And you know what, it's okay. And you can cosplay. And it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, well, as far as as far as all that goes, now you come to a lot of conventions. Does it ever get tired? No. No. In terms of like the the fan experience and everything, no. Uh, the traveling part. Well, I'm traveling from city to city. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you know, I once I'm at the show, I'm on the floor and I'm you know talking to fans and interacting. It's great. You know, I, it's just you get that burst of energy and you get to share all of those awesome stories. So I I love it. If I if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be doing it. All right. Now I think I know the answer to this one. Original Star Trek or new Star Trek? Original. I like this girl a lot. I like her a lot. <laughs> Thoughts on Canada? I love it. I love Canadians. Your money smells like maple syrup, which is pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> but no, you guys are really polite. You guys are super polite, and I absolutely love that. You know, it's chivalry is not dead in Canada. <laughs> Tim Hortons or Krispy Kreme? Uh, neither. Oh. Yeah, uh, I'm more of a mom and pop shop when it comes to donuts, and I only like gl uh, glazed donut holes. Okay, all I'm saying is she needs to go to Tim's once before she leaves Canada.